hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we are going to have a summary of home sweet home by the author ken saru wiwa home sweet home is a story about the return of a young woman from the city to her village after completing university she was returning to teach in her village called dukana her sweet home it was a remarkable day in her life since the villagers sang, danced and gave her an unforgettable welcome back home. Let's talk about Dukane's vehicle progress. The narrator's village vehicle progress provided the fastest way to move in and out of the village. The driver was a proud young man born in Dukana. He drove carelessly as the narrator sat on the front seat of the vehicle. Let's talk about the people of Dukana. The people spoke highly of their village. They held on to their customs and traditions seriously, and anyone who dared to speak against their village was going to have to face the wrath of its inhabitants. Description of Dukana's Houses Dukana had a poor layout of mostly mud houses covered with raffia palms or rusty iron sheets. It took a long time to build a house in Dukana. Sometimes buildings could be built gradually over a span of 10 years. A big welcome back home. The narrator was excited to finally arrive in Dukana to meet her happy mother. Characters like Duzia and Bom made her return more interesting due to their usual mannerisms and antics. She was also expected to see Sira, her best friend. Sira had four children and was pregnant the last time she saw her. When she finally reached her home, there were a number of villagers waiting to celebrate with her on her achievements. There was music singing and dancing. This was a great bonding moment for the narrator as she joined in the celebrations. Let's talk about Wally and Sira. Little by little, the celebration ceased and everyone went to their homes. As the narrator was having dinner with her mother, her mother's best friend Wally visited them. Wally's only daughter, Sira, was the narrator's best friend. The narrator wondered why Sira was not present since she arrived, so she asked about her. Wally did not give a definite answer, but when Wally left them, the narrator's mother told the truth about Sira. The truth about Sira The truth about Sira was that she had given birth to twins, but the twins had died. After this, Sira couldn't stay in the village anymore, so she went away across the river. After the narrator had heard this news, she lay down in her bed, feeling depressed. Thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit on the like and then the subscribe button. Until we meet again, goodbye.